Testament of God. Good morning, all the students. Uh, we completed our post-mid exam. Now, from today, we are going to start a new lesson. That is lesson number three. Oh, sorry, three is completed. Lesson number four, we will start. So, lesson number four. Here in lesson number four, Microsoft Access 2010 is there. So, MS Access is nothing but the database management software which is used database management software uh, which is used to store the records okay and uh, there are different dbms softwares like oracles sql server uh, open office is there again cybers is there so all these are the dbms softwares which are used to man uh, manage the data here dbms MS Access is one of the example of this database management system and different uh, other systems are also there like SQL Server, Oracle, Sybase, okay. So, in last lesson only we learn about the records, fields and all the things. Now, this today Today I am going to show you these things practically so that we will learn this lesson easily and you will also understand this lesson. So what is meant by record? Can you tell me what is meant by record? Records means what? Anyone can tell me? Records. Anyone can tell me about records? Records are nothing but the information stored in the rows. And what is meant by field? Fields are nothing but the information stored in the columns. Ye humne last lesson, lesson number third mein dekha tha. Okay, so records displays the categories of an object. Okay, just we saw names. Names, so students are nothing but the objects which are uh, and the uh, related uh, categories like the marks of the students, gender, name of all these are the categories of the object students. Okay. So, if you want to store this uh, student's list, so students are nothing but they are the object and uh, one student's record is stored in row that is called as record and the uh, uh, categories means they are stored in the column, they are called as fields, okay and uh, uh, all these are store, stored in the uh, Rec all the information which is stored in the records and fields they are called as the tables okay and what is meant by database database is nothing but the sequential arrangement of an information okay uh, information stored in organized form is called database okay Screen is not visible.
okay so pc screen is not visible some problem is there so i will teach this lesson theoretically then next period we will discuss this topic practically so i will teach you now theoretically then we will discuss this thing afterwards so just open your books page number 48 components of database we will discuss what are the different examples of this database management system oracle sql then ms office is there open office is there all these are the different examples of database management system and this dbms is used to store the information in a sequential order and after that you can get that information okay uh, in if uh, now we are using this portal okay whatever database uh, data stored of this portal it is in the form of this tables only okay here also we need to store the for, uh, all these records in the form of table here also for this to store this information this dbms softwares are used not this ms access different maybe different softwares are used to store this information so here the records are uh, horizontal field and fields are columns okay and records will store the information of an object and fields will store the information of an categories okay tables are nothing but the information stored in the row and columns and now here we will discuss the database object now first database object is table which is the first database object table this table is the basic object of dbms where in the table all the information is stored in the form of rows and column in it is stored in the form of rows and column now here in your one database you can have different tables also okay in your one database you can have different tables and this uh, where we call it as a relational database management system here suppose now you take the example of schools only here students records are stored in students table teachers record they are having the different table that is teachers table then non teaching staff has their different table means all the information are separated okay they and uh, with the different tables so in one database management system there you can have the different tables also so this is nothing but the relational database management system how this is called as relational database management system suppose i am having student table and another table teacher so i can link that suppose class teacher of class 7th so here the teacher is linked with the class 7 students so in that way you can have the information and you can have the relationship between that two tables also so that is called as the relational database management system and here table is the first object of this db ms and it is the basic object where the information is stored in the form of rows and column we called it as a records and fields now next object is queries your second object is queries now what is mean by queries queries are some information from the table which satisfies condition in last period you will have the filters am i right filter auto filter custom filter okay for the complex call uh, criteria you were using custom filter same way here queries are also the information from the table 
which satisfies the condition here suppose queries like i want to list of students those who got uh, more than 90 marks and gender is equal to female ye simple query hai aap bologe ye to excel mein bhi hota tha yes of course this simple queries uh, uh, you can use excel also but where we were having lots of information okay and we were having different type of queries ye basic type bataya maine queries ka then in that case excel is not working here you need to have work with database only so queries are nothing but the information from the table which satisfy different condition then forms see forms are the uh, convenient interface you need to add modify some users then the forms are used in tables and queries now simple example mein bata rahi hu aapko aapka jaise admission form rehta hai you fill that admission form okay same way agar abhi hamare school ka database management hai uh, database so jo aap hard copy mein form bharte ho वो सेम फॉर्म मुझे डीबीएमएस में भी फिल करके भरना है सो व्हेन यू वांट टू ऐड अ यूजर न्यू यूजर इन माय टेबल देन आई विल यूज दिस फॉर्म टू फिल ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक स्टूडेंट एंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स दैट ऑब्जेक्ट इज गेट इंटर इंसर्टेड इनटू द टेबल सो इट इज द इंटरफेस फॉर्म इज नथिंग बट एन इंटरफेस Where, uh, between the user and the computer where you can insert a new record with the help of form okay and uh, with the help of form you can modify that re records also same how you are filling the forms uh, hard copy of the form same forms can be uh, filled in your database also then reports reports are nothing but the uh, systematic arrangements of an information from the tables or the queries uh, we, uh, we with some analysis like uh, result jo aapke rakhte hain jo result table form mein lagte hain na dekha hi hoga aapke forms table form mein jo result dikhte hain aapko they are nothing but the reports and uh, design bhi rehti hai different reports you can design very nicely and uh, they are the information okay they are nothing but the presentation of an information so all these are the four basic object of database in that the table is the first basic object okay where all the information of objects are stored then queries are nothing but the information from the table only but which satisfied the condition they are called the queries then forms are nothing but the interface they are nothing but the interface which are used to add to modify the records then forms forms ho gaya then report these reports are also the representation of information okay uh, with the systematic manner jo aapke uh, reports rehte hain report cards they are nothing but this reports only okay aapko aapke reports table ke form mein dikhte hain kya nahi they are in the form of reports only jaise ek specific bacche ka report dikhta hai na aapko लेकिन टेबल के फॉर्म में दिखता है क्या कि उसमें से ढूंढो और सर्च करो ओके दे टेबल्स आर डिस्प्ले योर रिपोर्ट्स आर डिस्प्ले ऑन दैट सर्ट मीन्स ओनली सिंगल रिपोर्ट्स आर डिस्प्ले एंड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेबल्स ऑल द रिकॉर्ड्स आर डिस्प्ले देन स्टार्टिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल साउंड इज लो
all of you got this objects the different objects of database these are the four basic object of your database and microsoft access 2010 here we are going to learn about microsoft access 2010 there are different database like oracle sql server cybers open office all these are the different database in that we are going to learn about ms access and the extension of this the access file is dot acc db when you are going to save this file the extension of this file is dot acc db and it is also called as relational database management system that is rdbms okay why it is called as relational database management system the information is stored in the different tables okay different objects information is stored in the different tables and they are interlinked with each other so that's why they are called as rdbms how they are going to interlink and how we are going to create the tables that we will discuss in the next period okay bye Good morning all of you Today we are going to learn a new lesson which is lesson number 17 Here we are going to learn a beautiful lesson by William Shakespeare The name of the lesson is Macbeth All of you take out your textbook. Lesson number seventeen. Macbeth. So this is a beautiful lesson. by william shakespeare he has written so many dramas and he has been a famous writer of all time means his writings are being favorite in all the times of literature so here we will see a beautiful lesson by him macbeth The play Macbeth is a tragedy written by William Shakespeare. It is a tragedy. What is a tragedy? The tragedy means when a hero of the lesson or hero of the novel or hero of the drama when a hero of the drama has come to downfall. Matlab last mein when something bad happens to the hero is called a tragedy so here our uh, uh, hero of the lesson is macbeth and uh, he has come to 
an end and bad downfall so that's why this is called a tragedy it tells the story of macbeth it is telling us the story of macbeth a great thane what is thane thane is a post in the king's court yeah like mantri we call this is a post so uh, it is called lord also so he was a lord in the courtyard of king duncan he was in the courtyard of king duncan the king of scotland who was duncan he was the king of scotland so he was the king of scotland so led by prophecies of three witches witches matlab chudel we call it so one day what happened he met three witches and these witches told him one thing that he is going to be a king one day so after that macbeth macbeth who, who was just a lord or thane in uh, king's duncan's court he was thinking of becoming a king one day because this uh, uh, prophecy prophecy matlab future for future mein jo hone wala hai wo pehle pata karna hai ya fir pehle batai gayi baat so he has come to know that one day he is going to be a king of scotland so he was uh, a, he has become very greedy person now he was thinking that oh, yes i am going to be a king one day like that this happened and he was thinking of being a king and driven by the ambition of his evil wife and his evil wife why is she is called evil evil matlab a person who is having negative thoughts and bad thought and a greedy thought so she was greedy person so she was always telling him that yes you are going to be a king of scotland one day so do this and do that and all the things are fair in uh, war so like that she was telling him and he was always boosting his courage of becoming a king macbeth kills the good and kind king duncan and in this he killed the good king and kind king who was duncan he killed him because he wanted to pursue his ambition he wanted to be the king of the scotland so that's why he killed king duncan he also kills banco another powerful thane of scotland now he there was no chances of macbeth becoming a king because after king duncan who would be the king banco would be the king but now he knew that banco is in i have a banco so i have to kill this person also so he killed banco also banco was one of his best friend and he killed him also and the family of thane of five in order to remove all hurdles to cover to covet a crown of scotland he has killed all the people who were hurdle to get the crown jo bhi beech mein hurdles the usne sab ko maar diya who whom he killed he killed banco he was another thane of scotland he killed thane of five he killed duncan the king and all these people however guilt does not let macbeth and his wife rest in peace but later they realize that whatever they have done that is not good and he realized that uh, i have done something wrong i am a criminal so after being a king then later on macbeth and his wife macbeth became the king of scotland and lady macbeth means his wife she became the queen of scotland but after that they could not sleep well they could not be in rest because all the time this guilt was just uh, not letting them sleep not letting them rest in peace so all the time they were thinking of this thing so i think all of you can able to hear me properly can you if she, is there if any problem is there you just put a message here okay so the following scene lady macbeth tormented by her conscious walk in her sleep at night rubbing her hands and talking to herself so what is this lesson this lesson is a small part of the drama macbeth where we are learning about this lady macbeth that after this she could not sleep well she could not 
uh, do all the things well because all the time she was thinking that I have done something bad and my husband has done something bad and God is not going to forgive us. So like that she was thinking of all these things. So this is a lesson, it is a small part of the, uh, this drama where we come to know that how she behaved one night. Okay. So we will begin here with the lesson. Characters who are here. Doctor, a doctor of physics means a doctor, he is a physician, a doctor is there. Gentlewoman, the gentlewoman means the lady, lady in the waiting room. So lady in the waiting room means Dasi we call it. Okay, Dasi of this queen, uh, Lady Macbeth. And Lady Macbeth herself, she is there in this scene. Wife of King Macbeth, she is wife of King Macbeth. So scene one, what is the scene one? The scene is set in a castle. Castle means a uh, palace. So this is a scene in a palace. At the left of the stage is an open doorway. In the left side of that stage, in the left of this stage, there is open doorway. Means there is open door. Thick curtains are hung on the window. The curtains, thick curtains are hanging on the window and uh, then window is near the doorway so how is the place they are telling us how is the place then in front of the window is a table with some flower there is one table in front of the window and there are some flowers on the table at the right of the stage there are a few chairs around the table and they, whatever the table is there there are a few chairs around the table and then a doctor enters the stage with a notepad doctor is having a notepad to write something with on so he is having a notepad a woman is standing in the middle of the stage and the woman one woman is standing in the middle she keeps looking over her shoulder towards the open doorway she is looking towards the open doorway now she is looking at the doorway which is open there she is waiting for something now what is that okay so lesson begins here with the first dialogue. It is by the doctor. The doctor said, I have two nights watched with you but can pursue no. Truth in your report, when was it she last walked? So here doctor is talking about something that happened in the past. What is he, what he is talking about? Because this lady in the waiting, this lady in the waiting she has told him that my queen is not well she is having some problem and she is walking in the sleep every night she is just coming and so that's why she is looking at the do open doorway because she wanted to tell the doctor that see how she will enter from this door so that's why they both of them they are waiting doctor is there with her for two nights doctor is checking how she is walking and he wanted to observe the queen so that's why doctor is there and here doctor is telling that since two nights I am observing but I can think that whatever the report you have given to me it does not have any truth means there is nothing truth in your report means whatever you have told it is wrong in my opinion when was it she last walked when she last walked like that so you are telling that she walked in the night and when was that gentlewoman since his majesty went into the field, I have seen her rise from her bed, throw her nightgown upon her, unlock the closet, take forth paper, fold it, write upon, write upon it, read it, afterwards seal it and again turns to bed. So here the lady in the waiting is telling that, see, I have been watching my queen to behave like this since my majesty means since the majesty majesty means who since macbeth he has gone to the field means now he has gone to the war and lady macbeth is alone there so that's why here so here lady macbeth is alone there and she is behaving this means macbeth is not there and she is behaving like this so I have seen her. Now she is telling what she has seen. Every night what she does, I have seen her rise from her bed. So Queen Macbeth, she rise from her bed. She gets up, throw her nightgown. She just put, on, put, out, uh, put on her nightgown 
मतलब ड्रेस पहनना नाइट का जो ड्रेस है उसका वो पहनती थी एंड अनलॉक हर क्लोज एट शी ओपन द क्लोज एट क्लोज एट मीन्स अ कबर्ड शी जस्ट ओपन द कबर्ड टेक फोर्थ पेपर एंड शी जस्ट टुक सम पेपर वन पेपर आउट ऑफ दैट क्लोज एट एंड देन फोल्ड इट एंड शी जस्ट फोल्ड द पेपर राइट अपॉन इट समथिंग कुछ तो भी वहाँ पे लिखती थी वो पेपर पे रीड इट एंड आफ्टर वर्ड शी सील द पेपर and then again return to bed and like that she again go to her bed like that this is happening with my queen so she is telling the doctor that see this is what i am watching every night yes all this while in and all these things are in a most fast sleep and she is doing all this thing like opening the door of the cupboard Uh, taking out a paper writing something on it and then sealing it creeping again back in the cupboard like that this all thing she was doing in the in the sleep doctor a great perturbation in nature perturbation means disturbance there is a great disturbance in nature to receive at once the benefit of sleep and do the effect of watching in this lumbary agitation beside her walking and other actual performance what at that what uh, sorry that any time have you heard her say so now the doctor is asking her okay this is what she is doing so have you heard her saying something so whatever you have told us she has she is doing this thing but have you heard her saying something because this is the disturbance of sleep she cannot sleep well she cannot sleep sound so that's why something is there in her mind which is in subconscious mind which is not letting her sleep well so that's why she is getting up in the sleep but have you heard her saying something doctor is asking the lady in the gender the gentle lady the lady in the uh, waiting room so then gentle woman said that sir which i will not report after her she said yes i have known what she is speaking but i cannot report after her because i am her dasi so see at that time uh, agar koi king hai ya fir queen hai agar uska koi attendant hai ya fir dasi hai to do he is standing at the door but he will not say anything whatever he has seen whatever he has heard they cannot report to anybody matlab wo itna secret ho unko rakhna hai ki wo cheez bahar nahi jaye so that's why she is uh, saying that i cannot yes sir i what ever i have heard that sir but i cannot tell you that i cannot report after her because it is not good for me and i cannot say anything uh, uh, against for the queen means something secret is there which i cannot tell you doctor you may to me and this most meet you should so she he said that it is very essential in most meet means it is very important and you should you should tell me because i am a doctor and it is very important for me to know so please you tell me the doctor was requesting gentle woman neither to you nor anyone having no witness to confirm my speech enter the lady macbeth with a taper now at that time when he when she is talking to doctor she she said that no i cannot tell the thing to you not to anybody because i cannot prove who is there to prove and if uh, i told you that uh, i do not have any witness for that so how will i tell you who will believe in me so he she said that i cannot tell you that and at that time lady macbeth she entered the room having a taper taper matlab ek wax candle she was having a wax candle in her hand and she entered now she is walking in sleep lo you here she comes and now she is saying see she has come now they were waiting for the queen to enter and now she has entered this is her very guise and upon my life fast asleep observe her stand close she is telling that see this is her guise means this is her usual appearance means how she is always coming like this she has entered like that only and she and see you just uh, stay in uh, stand close means stay in hiding means don't मतलब उसको मत दिखो क्वीन को यू जस्ट डू नॉट शो योर सेल्फ दैट यू आर हियर यू जस्ट हाइड योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम हर आई डॉक्टर हाउ कैन हाउ केम शी बाय दैट लाइट 
सो हाउ शी हैज लिट द कैंडल बाय हर सेल्फ इफ शी इज इन स्लीप हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल दैट शी हैज लिट द कैंडल हर सेल्फ इन स्लीप बिकॉज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल ना इन स्लीप वी कैन लाइट द कैंडल सो लाइक दैट हाउ दैट शी हैज डन दिस सो द वुमन इज टेलिंग वाई इट स्टूड बाय हर शी हैज लाइट बाय हर कंटिन्यूली this her command because this is her command this is her order that there should be a candle whole night it should be on and it should be lit so that's why the candle is lighted so here uh, we are uh, learning a conversation between lady macbeth and uh, sorry uh, the gent uh, the woman and the doctor so we will continue the lesson in the next period okay so i hope all of you have understood i hope all of you have understood the beginning of the lesson we will see the remaining part of the lesson in the next period okay so thank you bye bye all of you take care Yeah, good morning, all of you. Okay, in uh, science, in physics, we learned last time sound chapter. We have completed, and uh, you all have done good in exam. So today we will start new lesson. That is some natural phenomenon, and uh, okay, in uh, science, in physics, we learned last time sound chapter. We have completed, and. Uh, you all have done new good chapter, in exam chapter number 14 so today as we will RSU. start new lesson that is some natural sound. phenomenon and uh, natural okay, in uh, like science and physics we learned last time sound chapter we have completed phenomenon. and uh, you all have done new good chapter, in exam chapter number 14 so today we will RSU. start new lesson this is our that is some natural phenomenon okay, we are living in nature and we are observing uh, our surrounding in that we observe the physics uh, we learned last time sound chapter we have completed mostly we observe while have done good in exam chapter number 14 sometime we will start we observe new lesson earthquake also that is some natural okay we are living in nature we are observing our surrounding that depend on science physics we learned last time sound chapter season geography we observe optical while have done land in exam number 14 sometime we will start we observe the new lesson or these are the two phenomenon that you have okay we are living in nature we are observing our surrounding that depend on lightning summer also we observe like and this is similar to whenever we try to on uh, our switch that time we observe a spark actually and during winter season also whenever we are trying to wear woolen clothes that time also sparking sound comes sometime we can see the light also that also similar to this lightning okay in that also we can see same type of phenomenon actually here so we have to study what is actually this lightning 
and second thing we have to learn about the earthquake okay these are two phenomenon that we have to study in this lesson and there are many more but uh, we will limit ourselves uh, with these two phenomenon only one is lightning another one is earthquake here so lightning is totally how lightning happen we know that happen uh, mostly we know here whenever there is a friction in between the clouds that time there is a exchange of the electron there are various ways actually for this lightning one simple by taking here there is a friction in clouds and there is a potential difference between earth and cloud and due to that uh, some part of the air become the conductor and that light uh, electricity pass through that particular region okay very short amount of time that uh, electricity is passing and then we can see the lightning here we can see the spark of light and that we are saying here lightning here so we have to learn here very basic thing actually about the lightning how it happened how that friction and then charges various phenomenon how is the potential difference and that thing we have to learn here already in sound chapter we learn uh, sound travel very slow as compared to light actually when we are, when there is a lightning first we see the light and after some time we can hear the uh, sound of thunderstorm actually okay so first thing we need to study here okay natural phenomenon we have here uh, lightning earthquake then we can see the color of the sky color of the sun during uh, sunrise and sunset rainbow we can see these are all a natural phenomena in physics and science we learn about this phenomenon here okay so we start with the lightning here first we need to study about the electric charge so first thing we need to study about the electric charge Okay, today we know about the electric charges. We know there is electrons are there, protons are there, positive ion, negative ion, these things are there. But when they observe these things, lightning, and then they give explanation uh, for these, that time they did not know about these electric charges. Only they observe some phenomenon, observe something that is happening in the universe. Okay, already we have taken few activities that I have... Uh, shown to you in previous classes when we were learning about the force okay today we will see few activities again that is uh, very related with these uh, electric charges or this uh, some uh, natural phenomenon here so first thing here uh, what about the charges here just we uh, we are doing these activities many time and many students send this activity video also so today we'll do that again one more time so i have here small paper pieces so you can use uh, these type of paper pieces you can see here you can use other things also okay okay instead of comb uh, i will use here this scale plastic scale you can use here Okay, initially if I am touching to this paper then they are not getting attracted towards the uh, scale here. Okay, I have here one silk cloth, you can use your hair also. Okay, this type of activity happens very good during the winter season. The winter season is a dry season, therefore there is no moisture in nature actually in our surrounding. But if we are trying to do these activities during rainy season or summer season, that time, lot of moisture uh, to uh, surround us. Actually, that therefore, that is not happening properly. But now, in winter, it should happen very properly. Okay? I am rubbing these. Then there is an exchange of the charges. Then this uh, scale will become here. Charge here. And then if I bring this scale close to the paper, then you can see here, these papers are getting attracted. You can see here, this paper got here stuck. 
that happen because of the electric charges here okay then we know here this force already we gave name that is the electrostatic force here because of that it is getting attracted that easily we can observe or uh, even uh, we can do this activity with the pen also i have here pen we are using a, if we rub here then it will get charged here and after charging if we bring this close to the feather we can take here or small paper pieces then also it will get attracted here as you can see here you can see here they are the paper got here stuck if we are taking here then also the other paper pieces also getting attracted they are moving here okay this is electrostatic force and this actually whenever we are doing here means we are rubbing here there is a friction and due to friction this pen or this scale is getting charged here and because of that it is getting uh, it is attracting actually this small paper pieces or even uh, we can do this activity with the <coughs> straws actually if i am taking here straw i'll do with one straw here if we take here straw and pen then we can see here what will happen okay in these cases in first two cases we have seen this paper pieces are attracting towards the either we are taking a scale you can take here comb or you can take a pen also plastic pen we need to use here okay now we'll do with the straw and pen and then we'll see here what will happen again phenomenon by using the same we are doing here friction and with the help of friction we are observing okay sometime when we are sitting suddenly on the chair that time we get little shock that is also happen because of this electrostatic force here or because of these charges now we'll see here i'm rubbing here both here pen and this uh, straw here both together then we'll see what will happen here keeping one here okay already you have done this activities but at that time we were learning only about the force but today we have to learn about the charges let's see what is happening here okay and it is not compulsory to take only silk uh, cloth you can use here uh, ordinary cotton cloth also you can use here even you can use here hair also for this Okay, I'll take another straw here. It's not moving properly. You can observe here. This is moving actually. It is repelling actually. whenever i am trying to take this pen closer to this straw that time it is moving away actually okay same thing you can observe with the uh, mobile also if you on your mobile then it get charge actually if you are bringing close to the paper pieces then it will so two things uh, we have observe here one thing the attraction and one thing we are observing here another thing here that is repulsion okay whenever i am taking this means here this attraction or repulsion is totally depend on which pair actually we are taking here and uh, when they started this observation they use actually very basic elements nowadays we are not using that they use actually amber amber actually used to make the ornament nowadays we are not using that but that time 
This is actually these things started in BC. This is very, very old actually. We don't know the scientist name who has discovered these things. Okay, but these are our natural observations. So if I'll take here again one more time, I'll show you here. So if I try to take this pen close to it, then it is getting repelled here actually. As you can see here, it is repelling. There's no, I'm not touching it, but still it is moving. Okay, this happens because of the electric charge here. Okay, you have to do this activity one more time at your home. So with this uh, easily we can conclude here, there is a, uh, we can make things electrically charged actually and there are two types of uh, uh, observations we are doing here one will be attraction because we observe here first thing we observe here attraction attraction means things coming closer actually and second thing we observe here repulsion So due to these electric charges, these two things we are observing here, one thing we are observing here, uh, attraction or repulsion here, and then only we are saying there is a presence of electric charges. If there is no movement, nothing, that time we are saying here, uh, that particular thing is neutral actually, electrically neutral, there is no charge on that particular thing. This is about the electric charge. Then uh, story that time they observe these thing only attraction repulsion then big question came actually what name should be there for the charges then many scientists uh, thought on this just what will be the name for this particular thing here just we are observing two types of uh, two types of thing here one time attraction one time repulsion so one scientist came forward that is Benjamin Franklin he told Okay, this whenever we're taking here, suppose we're taking here two, uh, he use actually mathematical operation here, whenever we're taking positive negative, suppose we add here, uh, suppose two plus, suppose we're taking minus two, then what will come here? Can you write in chat box? I'm writing a simple thing here, two plus, here I'm writing here minus two, then what answer will come here? You have to write in chat box. So here, answer will come zero, correct. It will come here zero. Means whenever we are taking a same thing happen with the electric charges also. If we are taking suppose two positive charges and if we add that two in negative charges, we are getting the neutral object here. We are getting the neutral. So after that, he proposed we should give the name of the charges positive and negative actually. These names given by the scientist Benjamin Franklin. And with that he observed, he said here, if we are taking here two positive charges, then there will be repulsion. If we are taking here two positive charges or two positive objects, then we are observing here they are repelling each other means they will move away from each other actually we are showing with the symbol here means here whenever we are observing repulsion between two object means on both object there is a presence of positive charge and if we are observing attraction if we are observing attraction here then there will be opposite charges one will be positive and another will be negative they will come closer means we can take here positive positive or we can take here negative negative also they will get repelled here and the attraction repulsion magnitude is totally depend on the strength of that particular 
charges if here bigger charges then bigger force of repulsion we can observe or uh, if there is a uh, opposite charges with the greater magnitude then we can observe the strong attraction here okay these things here for this uh, natural phenomenon we have started with these uh, electric charges then next time we will learn about the electric charges in atoms then we will learn next thing about the uh, different way to charge any object means if you want to charge any object then how will do that okay that will learn during next time and in today's uh, homework in portal uh, you have to write the first about the electric charges and you have to write here uh, attraction and repulsion when it will happen that thing you have to write in your homework today okay with these uh, we will stop here thank you